And we're back. Hello, everyone. My name is Sutton Wolf. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I apologize. I could not get to this last week. Um, I couldn't get out my a lot of my series episodes last week due to a recording error. Um, I couldn't secure the recording space, um, and it made it impossible to get the videos out. Um, so I am recording these for this week, and they should come out as normal. Um, on time, too, hopefully. Um, but we are back. Um, things have been screwed up. Um, not much else to say about it. Natsuki, uh, I'm a little bit worried about her. She's been... She kind of... I, you know, they fucked up her face. <laughs> but, uh, God, what... Sayori's gone, and this game is crazy. So, I'm gonna try writing another poem for Natsuki. So, here we go. Oh, I can't. It's not letting me pick that word. Okay. Oh, it's like I can't click on them unless I'm like a little bit below them. Is that on purpose? I wonder. Clouds. Ribbon. Dance. Kiss. Um. Uh, bliss. Is there something. Okay, for a second there I thought something weird was gonna happen if I pl if I pick Doki Doki. Uh, play. Uh, shiny. Lipstick. Vanilla. Joy. Oh, Yuri was Joy. That's interesting. Pout. Heart. Skirt. Promise. Silly. Okay. <sighs> God damn, we're back at this again. Is the oh the screen's going in again? Oh god, it is. I think, I think it is. Is it? I can't tell. I can hardly like. Oh, maybe not. I can't even tell anymore. I'm like trying to figure it out. I can't. Sayori's not in the background. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Sutton. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me, or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air. Oh yeah, we had that fight scene, but it got way out of hand. Oh god, I forgot about that. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Oh yeah, Monica cut her off! Like, oh my god. Jeez, I just remembered all that. Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you are considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. That's bad foreshadowing. <laughs> and now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, Sutton, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you and around and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Uh, no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help, I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. <laughs> oh god, the text. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad about it. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? B but 
Nipple, sailcloth, blind sight, lifeline, and then receptacle defaultlessly. Uh. <sighs> Let my heart cool down for a second there. I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid he secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not! <laughs> what took you so long, anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. <laughs> Don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good at it. Wait a second. So, I, I just had this thought. So... It has been a long time since I've, like, played through the, this before Sayori got killed, but, like, they, some of the dialogue's been changed because Sayori's not around. Like, for example, this scene is completely different, um, because, um, Sayori's not around, so it can't be the same scene. And there was the fight yesterday that got out of hand, so Yuri pulled me aside to, like, talk about it. Um, I also noticed that, so this part is, like, the same. This, like exchange right here is, and monica saying like oh i play music whatnot that is the same however the skip button is not active which means that it's not the same exactly which which means that that line like this line as well these lines aren't the same they've changed otherwise that skip button would be active Unless it's, like, the scene itself, but I'm pretty sure that means that the scene itself is different. Like, the scene is different, but also the words are different. I'm pretty sure. So, I think that that's different. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Aw, oh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. <laughs> that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Sutton. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not really. I chose- I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki's already run off to the closet. The Sutton... Um... Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she- She's fine! She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're, we're going over there. Uh. You can't do this to me, man. I can't tell if this is my computer or the game. God damn it. What's the story about anyway? Well, um. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. You know, now that I think about it, I haven't actually gotten to spend any time with Yuri. I haven't gotten to spend any time with anyone except Natsuki. This is weird. Alright. <sighs> There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Holy shit. <laughs> but the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... That might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. What the fuck? 
That's kind of... Yeah, that's kind of dark, isn't it? <laughs> you made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Sutton? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot Yuri is into those kind of things. Jeez, that is like darker than I expected. She's so, she's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is so full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I guess that means that this, these lines were different before. Because they're changing them. Then suddenly! <laughs> I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets a gr I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I stop talking if I start talking too much. That I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I could do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh that's well that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Uh, yeah. I mean if you don't have you don't have to, but what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. All right, let's see if I let's. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's. I'm like tapping my foot incessantly because I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Excuse me. Ugh. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Uh, sorry. I, I was I was just bathing the... Uh, Yuri, you really apologize, don't you? A lot, I mean. I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Uh, <laughs> Come on, here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once, we're each, we're, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, this is cute. Ah. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh, I do the same thing with my right arm and on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after reading after flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Excuse me while I'm drooling. Uh, are you ready? Uh, to, to turn the page. Sorry, I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Huh? Huh? N no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking of the way she second-guesses things she says and all that. Ah, uh, that's what you were talking about. 
Uh, sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Huh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. This is like... Ugh. I'm getting odd vibes from this. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. By the way, I'm trying to, like, up my inflection with reading these kinds of games. Uh, so let me know how I'm doing. Like, I'm trying to... Obviously, I have a very, like, deep voice. Um, I have a deep and loud kind of masculine voice, so it's hard for me to do female voices sometimes. But, uh, at least, like, realistic ones. So, let me know how I'm doing. Or, like, let me know if you want me to, like, change anything. Um, I've been trying to, like, read this as, like, realistically as possible. That's just kind of how I've always played these kinds of games. Kind of goes with my whole concept of, like, playing games in their own context and trying to evaluate them as such. Um, it just, you get the most out of the experience if the characters are, like, properly acted out, you know? I say properly when I'm not an actor by any means, no, nor am I suited to play any such part, but I, I'm trying. I hope I hope it works. What on earth was that about? Sutton? Did something happen just now? Huh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Who should I show my poem to first? Natsuki, obviously. Huh. Well, it's not terrible. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Wait, what? I got, like, every single word except one for you. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I'd be pretty pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in this club writes differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. want to turn this page. <laughs> uh, Sutton, why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Natsuki, no! No! Natsuki! <laughs> no! Yuri's a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. Oh god, her face. Oh god, the music. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, Sutton, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. <gasps> What? A end? What? <laughs> what? No! <laughs> Don't! <laughs> you can't just... <laughs> you can't do that to me, man! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? She's not 
just dead, is she? <laughs> what? And... Uh, Monica, something weird happened! Hi again, Sutton. How's the writing going? Oh, it's going good! Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Ha, <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica, while I'm desperately trying to hold back tears. <laughs> Alright. Great job, Sutton. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? We're, we're clear on the fact that I wrote this for Natsuki, right? Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean it like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that she's probably a much it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved from social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Um, I need to keep the... I completely forgot. I need to keep my... What's it called? The... Um... The game files. Local, browse local files. I completely forgot about that. Okay. I don't know if any of this is new. What's this? This is new, right? I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Okay, so I was about to make a comment on this, actually. Um, it seems like Monica's just been trying to badmouth the other two and, like, make me like her more. Like, she's been... Whenever it's just the two of us, she completely shit-talks both Natsuki and Yuri. But then whenever it's, like, everyone's together, Monica acts all really sweet and everything and, like, really considerate. So I'm guessing that, like... Is this her talking right now? Like... That's what it seems like. I mean... What else could it be, right? Well, I guess I'll leave this... Over to the side. Uh... How do I... Let's put this... Let's put this... Eh, over here is better, I guess. Alright, well, we got that. Save me. <clears throat> oh yeah, her poem was different last time, right? Um, so is this one going to be different? The colors, they want bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't... Yeah, this is definitely different. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. <clears throat> <clears throat> like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage. Mindless. Er, um, no. And endless? No. An endless poem of meaningless. Delete her. Delete her. Who 
is she talking about? Is that... Is that Yuri? Natsuki? I mean, surely she's not talking about herself. Sayori's gone, right? Right. What about... I got that ending screen with Natsuki. Does that mean that... And in that interaction between Monica and Yuri, Natsuki didn't show up. Is, is Natsuki really just gone? That would take so much away from the story, though. We wouldn't be an official club if we didn't have four members. Is she... Is she saying that since she died, I need to delete her? I mean, I don't want to delete her. Or is she talking about Yuri? Because, like, it seems like Yuri is the one that she's bad-mouthing today. And Yuri was... Yuri's the one who's been acting all freaky. Do I... Am I supposed to do something here? Is this, like, a hidden meta thing? Character... So, Monica... Let's look here. Monica, Natsuki, and Yuri are here. Is there anything else? No. So I've got Monica, Natsuki, and Yuri. I'm definitely not getting rid of Natsuki. I refuse. <sighs> That's probably the most likely person that it's talking about, though. I mean, should I just try deleting someone? Maybe it'll say, like, wrong person. And I mean, Sayori's not in here anymore. Or, I guess I never really knew if she was in there to begin with, but... Um... She's at least not in there right now. And she's not in the game. So theoretically, if I get rid of someone here, they're gonna be gone from the game, right? I'm kind of torn here, because I don't want to... I, I, I see two courses of action here. Either I delete someone... And the story diverts. Or... I go along with it, and the story just keeps going as it was. However, if the story keeps going as it was, and I didn't do anything here... Like, th this definitely feels like Monica's talking to me. Like, definitely here. I mean, like, even, even in the poem, like, red, green, and blue, like, that's not... Those aren't the primary colors, normally. The, the, those are the primary colors of light. which And it's also, like, what they use in pixels. Like, on computers. So, does that mean that she's talking to me through the computer? Is that what's going on here? I mean, it does seem like she's kind of dumb. Like, her previous poem, too, it was like... She found she was staring out of a screen of some kind or something like that, and a guy was staring back at her. I would assume that's meant to be me. So Monica is like sentient, I guess. Is that what's saying what's going on here? And she's so she's a sentient person who wants me to be with her and only her and ignore the others. <clears throat> and she killed off Natsuki. So she's saying to delete Yuri because she's the only one left and we want to just... Well, but Natsuki's not gone yet. She's dead, but she's not gone. My, my thought process was Natsuki's dead. Yuri would be deleted, so it would just be me and Monica and it would be happy ever after, at least in her mind. I kind of want to try it. Like, getting... To be completely honest, I'm worried about Yuri. I really don't want to just delete Yuri. Because that would be terrible. But, like, realistically speaking, she's just gonna... I mean, Monica's just gonna kill her, right? And she seems like she's going kind of nuts. I mean, surely there's not a way I can, like... I can't, like, save them, can I? I mean, there's no way I could ever get Sayori back. She's not in the files. <sighs> it, 
Is this one of those situations where it's like... So this is very clearly like a horror game. Like... This is like... Is this one of those psychological things where it's trying to tell you like... There's a fate worse than death? Like... If I don't delete Yuri now, she's just going to go insane and then be killed anyway. So I best put her out of her misery, or like, at least give her some happiness beforehand, like... Oh, God. <sighs> I'm curious as a gamer, but at the same time, I'm like... The part of me that, like, the actor in me that, like, gen genuinely puts myself in the scenarios of these characters, thinking about it, like... Well, now that I think about it, though, that's illogical. In this case. I'm not only putting myself as an act. If I'm to say that I am an actor playing a character in this game. I'm not playing just. I'm not playing some random character. I'm playing myself. Like I'm playing not even just a, a representation. Of, I'm playing a representation of myself on the screen. But I'm also playing as myself in reality. Because she's talking to me. Like not Sutton in there but me. Does that mean that this is a moral dilemma for me as what I would actually do? Would I actually kill off a friend? Would I delete a friend to save them from insanity? Like, that's a lot of assumptions I'm making there, but that's really what this seems like. I mean, in reality, I'd really want to just try and help them as much as possible. However, this is the kind of game... Excuse me while I go off of this giant tangent, but this game is the type of game that has very clearly expressed that it is showing you things you do not want to see. It made you go through the process, the arduous process of dealing with Sayori's depression and then killing her off right in front of you. And then haunting you about it through imagery. From that, I am getting... And despite me writing a poem for Natsuki time after time, this time it forcefully put me to Yuri. Like, the guy... My character even said I should go check on Natsuki. And Yuri said, no, I'm taking you. That is a signal that this game is forcefully taking you down a path that you don't want to be on. That's the kind of nature of, like, psychological horror games. They take you down a path that you don't want to go to, and they make it seem like you can do something about it, but then you can't. That's the vibe I'm getting here. So if I were actually a person in this literature club, I would definitely not... I would definitely try to help Yuri. I would definitely not, like, want her dead. I would try to help Yuri. But as me, as a person playing a game that is now declaring itself self-conscious of itself, I want to go against what they are saying. I, I don't want to fall into the trap of this is going to happen whether you want it to or not. If that's the case, do I delete Monica? Monica's the only... Monica's the one who's become sentient, right? Deleting her would be like a murder, though. I do think I want to delete Yuri. I really do. That is a moral dilemma that I'm thinking of right now. And it's a matter of, like I just explained, the game, in its trajectory, I would predict that this game is telling me to delete Natsuki and Yuri. Well, the game is telling me that Monica wants me to delete Natsuki and Yuri so I can be with her. Or that she can be with me, rather. And the game is telling me that if I, as would be the natural reaction, don't want that to happen and want to save... Natsuki, Yuri, and even maybe Sayori in the back of my mind. I'm going to not delete them and not listen to Monica 
and then it's going to have her kill them off in front of me. So to stop that from happening, I'm going to delete Yuri. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I hope I didn't just fuck this up. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a different, difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, uh... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna put this over here. Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Oh, God. Oh, now Monica's... And Monica's a victim, too. Shit. Why did I just assume that Monica was a villain? God damn it. I just fucked up, didn't I? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Wait, what? Wait a second, but I... I deleted her. Does that not work? Is that not a thing? What happens if I just try to talk to her? Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. But let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. There's not even any music. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Linear gearbox. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A, a torn harness. Parabolic gearbox. Expanding universe. Time controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God. Swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living, uh, uh, all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and opening human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, Breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. <sighs> okay, she's kind of lost it. But then again, Natsuki's poem was off as well. There's no music. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pet. That is a, pe a pen flew out of your backpack yesterday. I took it home for safekeeping, and I, I, uh, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. Oh my god, did I send Yuri into madness by deleting her? And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Uh, can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge, empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. 
My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall, anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Jesus Christ. Is there anything different here? Nope, nothing's different. Oh! I usually, like, fade out my cursor, like my mouse cursor, whenever I'm ma editing these videos. But in case you guys can't see that, I'll let you see that. My cursor is currently Sayori's face. Glitching. That's not okay. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Hey, it's back. We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone can come sit in the front of the room. You're alive? <laughs> okay. I thought I was outsmarting the game. Well, not outsmarting it, but I thought I was, like, taking the defiant route, but it seems like it's not doing anything. But then again, I haven't... I didn't delete Natsuki, so she seems normal. She's still here. Did they trick me? Hold on. Natsuki's here, but Yuri is going insane. Natsuki has seemed normal. Obviously, there's been, like, me messages that have been changed of hers, and, like, her... They had the one scene where they changed her, like, face, and they glitched her to, like, get herself looking like she was killed. But, like, at the times when she's actually herself... She's normal. Whereas Yuri, the times that she's actually herself, she's going crazy. Like, there's no blacked out text or anything. That's just her being her, and she's going crazy. So does that mean that since I deleted Yuri, that's happening to her, and since I didn't delete Natsuki, it's not happening to Natsuki? Did I miss my chance there? Should I have... Should I have not deleted either of them? Or should I have deleted both of them? Should I have deleted Monica? Let me go through with this scene. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Sutton joined. We've started some club activities, but this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival's our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members, anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at this the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Sutton? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Sutton to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Oh, shit. Music drop. Look, Monica, you really think any of us here join this club with any other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Sutton joined. As for me, I just liked it better here than I do at home. And Sutton isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. That's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in getting new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Sutton want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I'd probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Uh, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a few a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think anyone else here thought the same way I did? I'm like having issues reading this. This is like actually emotional. I felt a chill down my spine. 
But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Sutton, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I could be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? <sighs> okay. Alright, I need to... So... Monica has become sentient. God, I'm so conflicted on this. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime, to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just wanted a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away. She's not taking anything away. No, Sutton. It's not the same. It won't be the same in the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here and now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. The dilemma I'm having right now is, are Yuri and Natsuki supposed to be sentient as well? If they are, then I want to save them. And, and Monica. All of them. But if they're not, then I want to... Like, I want to get one-on-one -on -one with Monica and talk to her. Back when it said, like, please save me, should I have done something? Does saving her mean deleting her? <sighs> I don't know. I'm terrified here because... The, my instincts as a person are screaming at me that if I that the natural reaction here in this scenario after everything I've discovered the natural reaction would be to drag things out as long as possible and see if there's anything you could do however as I said before this game is not something that you can change it is a linear path Which means that it falls on me. The game has displayed that I can do something. Or that, like, I... I, The character that is me cannot do anything. But I can do something. They're talking to me. At least they're saying I can do something. I don't know if I actually can. So my instincts are screaming at me that this is the kind of game that is going to want me to just drag things out without doing anything to see if I can fix anything, but then tell me that I can't because I didn't do anything as myself. I just tried to let... I tried to let the situation play out and it led to death. That's what this game is trying to tell me, it feels like. So, on me, it's like I need to do something. What are all of these things? Saves? First run? One kilobyte. View. What is this? One. First run. 
Images. No. Scripts. No. Fonts. Audio. Why is it that this one's different? How big of a file are the character files? Monica's is a lot bigger than Natsuki's. Arguments. Save location. License. Nothing. Oh, this is new too. There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find. Into their willpower, starving them of motivation and desire. Into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food. Or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a, de such a deplorable tangled mass is already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Log. Wait, what? In some cases, you may want to delete your save data to start the game completely over. To do this, navigate to the game folder and delete the file named first run. The next time you start the game, you will be asked to delete your save data. Select yes, delete my existing data. The game will then start from the beginning. Ugh, God, this is so confusing. Hold on. In some cases, you may want to delete your save data to start the game completely over. To do this, navigate to the game folder, delete the file named first run. The next time you start the game, you will be asked to delete your saved data. Select yes, delete my existing data, the game will then start from the beginning. First run. I, I knew that it being only one kilobyte big like, the size of one kilobyte was sketchy. Like, there's no way it's that insignificant. Especially if they bother to put it in here. So... So what does deleting first run do? The next time you start the game, you will be asked to delete your saved data. Select yes, delete my existing data. Is this one of those games where if you make a change, it doesn't do anything until you actually start the game over? 
what if I... Let me minimize these. I'm gonna save here. And then I'm gonna quit. So let's try this again and see if Yuri's gone. Because I deleted Yuri. Okay, so that's the same, but it's not... But, okay, I figured it out. Okay. So... Okay. So, the game... If I hit new game, it starts over with Sayori not in the files. It starts over with Sayori not in the files, which means... It can't, it starts with the weird version like it's been doing right now. But if I get rid of first run, that means I can start completely over and have Sayori back. But that just starts the game over from the beginning, so Sayori would probably die again, unless I did something different, in which case someone else could die, or whatever may, whatever may happen. Get rid of this. So I don't want to get rid of that. So my only options would be to delete characters, right? I don't want to delete either of these people. So, if I, if I delete, oh god, I'm so torn. Part of me wants to just play the game out as it was intended to be played, but this also kind of feels like, the, like, I'm probably not, unless I find out that I can do something differently, I'm probably not going to play through this again. At least not on here. And if there's something that I can do to get a better ending, then I'd want to do that. <sighs> I don't want to mess up the game's intended purpose, but I guess I've already deleted Yuri. But she's still here. But she's going insane. If I delete... If I delete everyone, what happens? Hmm... I can copy these. I'm gonna copy... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to copy Natsuki and just put it, I'm just going to put wh wherever in here. I'm going to put it in there. And then I'm going to get rid of her here. Jesus, that scared the fucking shit out of me. Okay, now let me save again. And quit. And try again. So now it's just Monica in there. Okay, they're still there. What if I load? Okay, that's still there.
What if I start a new game? Okay, but they're here. There's no way that it could actually tell that Natsuki's file is still on my computer, right? What if I hit cut? I can't cut it? So that's gone. Do I have to actually delete her? I'm like so enthralled by what's going on here. But they're still here. Whoa. All right, I'm going to What if, real quick, what if I, during that part where Monica says, I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm just gonna make a poem. I'm making another, I'm ma I made another poem. Now I'm, when Monica shows me her poem, when Monica shows me her poem, I'm going to, I'm just gonna show her my poem. Okay, let's, you're still here. Delete her. So... No one else is here. It is just you and me, Monica. Is it... It didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Is there nothing? It, there, seriously, there's, there's no way there's nothing I can do. I mean, am I, was I meant to delete Monica this entire time? But Monica's the one who's controlling all of this, right? Let me, okay, I can't jump to conclusions. Let me, let me finish this day and see what happens. I'm just happy with you here, but still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibility. Jesus Christ, you're, oh God. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Sutton? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided to give her an indirect answer. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along, and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club will change as well. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. 
So if you would like to help Monaco at the festival, I'm on your side as well. Maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go? Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Sutton before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I apologize. I have completely given up on acting. I am purely investigative now. The music is gone. Oh, never mind. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Sutton, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. Is it getting darker? I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. It is. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing other girls give you a hard time. How mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. Uh -huh. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because all the time you've been here, we've all hardly gotten to spend any time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you can understand. So that's why... Wait, not... No... Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. So I guess nothing like there's seriously nothing. I'm going to try writing another poem for Natsuki. Bed. Skirt. Oh, it's just going one, 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 one. Summer. Silly. Hair. Oh, that was Monica down there. That looked like Monica. That looked like a, her hair color. Can I try? Are there ones that she likes as well? Games. No. Empty. love okay so i can't get monica's to appear again is that just like a thing that's supposed to freak you out or is there a way to like write a poem for monica vivid cheeks doki doki what would monica like Monica has a ribbon, right? Oh, Jesus. I fucked it up. What the fuck? What was that? Oh, God. I think I wrote that for Natsuki. Not sure though. All right, you know what? I got to I got to be done. I can't. I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to try just starting the game one more time, seeing what happens. Jesus, this game. This game is freaky. <laughs> They're still here. Alright, you know what? I don't know. I've tried messing with it. And it didn't really do anything. I mean, I guess I never tried getting rid of Monica. But it feels like getting rid of Monica is the wrong thing to do. I need to I need to think this over. So I'm going to go for now. This has been a long episode because I wanted to try things, but 
It seems like my actions haven't done anything so far. Which is good and bad. So, we'll see. But regardless, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. I will always read them and I will always take them to account. And as always, I will see you guys next time for another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club.